Fred Reap back here in the J Concepts garage and today I'm going to help you guide you through this brand new J Concepts Tribute Wheels Bigfoot body and it's a pretty intensive as far as uh, laying out a wrap on an RC body to get it to come out right so I'm going to help you today guide you through and uh, make it look as beautiful as this truck right here. All right right now I have a pre-prep body. I uh, got this one all painted up nice all trimmed out and uh, a little trick I did here was I uh, matted out the back for the uh, bed cover. Kind of makes like a nice uh, added effect without uh, too much work. But uh, here we go. Let's start out with this wrap. Right now I'm going to uh, take off the sides here. I'm going to do the driver's front side first. And the easiest way I've kind of found to do this is just lay this out in a manner where you get these flames just under the driver window and you line up the back side of the cab there's a gap in between the cab and the bed just ahead of this big gap just on the cab side you want this nice and straight down along the back of the cab and then start pulling this out. This wrap is real easy to work with so you can peel it on and off a little bit if you make a mistake or need an adjustment but I kind of just lay that out here in the corner and I just slowly work all the air bubbles out towards the front of the cab. The wrap is pretty forgiving. Just lightly pull forward on it. Very little pressure with your fingers just enough to get it down to stick to the body. Again, very easy to just peel it up a little bit. Once we get this door section done, it gets a little tricky around the fender because you have the wheel flare there. But as we come up on it here, we'll the main thing here is you want to keep your flames nice and straight up over towards the hood and then work downward into the wheel flare. So here you're going to have to try and get the top of the flames to stick down on the hood. Work in the detail around the, the hood itself. There's a body line here. And again, just peeling up, laying it down, it's okay. Okay, here's where we get a little tricky, because now we're going to work around a couple different radiuses around this fender. I have a heat gun here. You could use a heat gun or a, a, a hair dryer. You don't want to overheat this wrap, you know, and make real big tears and stretches on it because this here is actually laminated with a nice clear coat over it. It helps protect the wrap and give it the real nice high gloss shine that goes along really nice with your uh, your body. So I'm just working this now into the seam around the wheel flare. A lot of the pros, they'll maybe put some uh, as a special primer to help it stick going around these wheel flares. I've had pretty much good luck with it without having any primer on it. I try and stick to use what I have here in the shop. But as you can see, we're starting to work around the wheel flare really nice. Our line for the hood is still doing well with the flames. And just keep working on it. You know, this is something that you don't rush. Again, it's uh, if you haven't done this before, it's it's a you know, it took me a couple tries wrapping these things to you know figure it out and lay it out in a way to make it easy for me and to figure out how that wrap is actually gonna react putting it around the body. So you got a couple little air bubbles and pockets here. We're just going to work them out easily. 
with our finger. And it drops right in. Work it around the hood. Here we got a couple different angles going around here. We have our J Concepts hobby knife. I'll probably make some other relief cuts, make it around this curve. It's nothing too important at the moment. But as I work this around, we'll show you how it's done. Alright, now we're coming up to the edge of the wheel, the wheel well flare. There's a couple ways you could do this. You can actually just take your hobby knife and cut the radius around. Sometimes it's nicer just to even just roll it around and it'll help give it some more tack to hold the wrap down around the wheel well if you just stretch it a little bit with your finger and let it roll the edge and then it'll stick around on the back side, which is what we're going to do here. Again, you don't have to do it this way. You can actually, again, take your hobby knife and then you just roll around the radius and cut the excess off. That way if we have to come back and make any adjustments later, we still have that added material under there. Okay, so we're looking good there. I want to work around the hood. This white piece, it's not super critical to be real careful in the front. This is just for filler when we start making some more seams. This will back up behind the grill. Work it around, peel it back, go back over it again, get it to stretch nice. I'm working around with your finger. Right, we're looking pretty good here. Might just hit the heat gun on this a little bit to pull the stretch out of it. So now we got this front quarter done. Again, if any air bubbles pop up, just go back and work them with your finger. Work them out towards the edge of the wrap. Don't work them down into the bottom. So we'll work here with this front pretty much done. Now we can go to the back section for the bed. All right, since now we got the uh, front section done, driver's side cab, front fender, worked it around the uh, wheel well, made the corner really nice. I just hit this here with a little bit with the heat gun and let the wrap relax around this corner. There's a lot of hard detail corners in here to get this wrap stretched around with. So you got it working really nice around this front part of the grill. Again, not super specific on how you have to handle this in the front because it's gonna get covered up by our uh, grill decal. So right now we're gonna go now to the back half, driver's side bed area. And we have enough material. If you wanted to make this actually seamless, you could bring this wrap up to the other edge. But I kind of like, on these trucks, you actually see the gap in the bed. Kind of just lay this out in a manner to where your flames made up really nice. Just work it back. You will kind of want these flames to just touch 
the very top edge of the bed. So we're going to work back and then down. Again, we have, just like the front, a lot of complex curves in here. So take your time. I'm going to take my time here and just gently roll this the air out of the wrap. Again, very forgiving on the wrap. You can, if you don't like how it's coming out, peel it back up and it'll, uh, you can work it again. We spent hours and hours of R&D time just trying to go through and create a wrap to where it's easier for people that haven't done this before. It can be quite intimidating if you haven't done one of these wraps. But you just take your time, fill it up, got a little air bubble coming there. You can also use the heat gun again and work the bubbles out. Alright, we're going to start getting into this complex curve around the wheel well area. I'm kind of leaving the wrap lightly tacked up top and that'll give me a little a chance if it's not laying out quite right the air can actually work its way into this body. There's actually a body line in here and it can help relieve some of the air as you're working it out down along the body so there's less bubbles. Again, I'm just very easily, I'm not you know, jabbing it really hard with my thumb, just kind of working the wrap along, letting it do its job. Sometimes if you're wanting to force the wrap and you overstretch it, it doesn't like that. It'll want to peel back up pretty easy, easily in the future. But uh, just work this guy here. Now we have a nice, a pretty good straight line along the bed with the flames. Now I'm rolling the wrap back down the side. Got a little detail here with the tail light area. good. You can see now the, the defining edge around the wheel well area. You can actually take the hobby knife. See how it's bunching up around this corner. You can actually take the heat gun. I'll just take a little relief cut here with the hobby knife and roll it around and kind of stretch it. I think we're in a good, good enough position here to Start rolling this fender. It's getting really taut in here, so I'm going to put another little relief cut. Not going right up to the body, but just enough to relieve some of the strain. Again, you might be a professional body wrap guy. You may not like the way I do it. I mean, go ahead and do it the way you want. 
this is just an easier way that I've found to you know, quickly work through this thing and do a pretty decent job. At this point here, I'm going to leave this for now. I'm going to wait to see how my tailgate detail works out. I'm just going to go ahead and stretch this one a little bit around the tail light. We'll come back and restretch some of this stuff out when we get to the tailgate area. Maybe put the heat gun on it. So this is a general idea on laying out the bed section. Now we're going to stop and then we're going to do the passenger side and then we'll come back and do the grill and front bumper details and try and get your uh, flames to match on both sides and work really nice into the uh, flame detail. So I'll go do the other passenger side and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to do the front. Right, now that we have our driver side and passenger side now all laid out, I'm going to go now to the, probably the next trickiest part is the uh, flames just over the grill. We have this all backfilled in here white, so it gave us a lot of wiggle room as to where the decals are laid out. And a lot of this stuff goes away once you start laying out the grill decals over it. So it's really nice to hide the seams. That's one of the things I, I hated with some of the wraps is where, you know, there was seams everywhere. And if you look really close at it, you know, it, it, you know the seams kind of just popped at me. So with this wrap here, we tried the best we could is to hide most of the seams under cover of other decals on this thing. So uh, right now I'll take the uh, 
the hood flames and kind of lay them out in a manner to where it makes a nice smooth transition in between the sides and the uh, on the hood. So as you can see, we made a radius cut back in the wrap here in the graphic design. And we just need to get down to the front leading edge of the hood seam to where it would uh, mate between the hood and the grill. And you kind of just want to work this in here, made up these flames. And again, you can stretch this a little bit and work it around. I'm going on the hood seam. If I can get this one a little bit better. Looks pretty good there. Work it around. As you can see, this is our center, and it lays out pretty well. Just getting this as a guide, and the wrap is really forgiving to where we get the initial space. We've got a real nice center on the hood. Now I can backtrack again, and the flames will just lay down where they want to go. And these were flames, these were all uh, hand painted by Dan Patterson back in the day at Bigfoot. You know, machine didn't lay all this stuff out, it was all freehand. So if they're not exactly 100% perfect, it doesn't really matter. Let's work the curve. Coming back, now I can lift this up just a little bit and work it back into the corner again. See now how the, the curve now has filled itself back in and made a really nice transition, which is really hard to do in a wrap to get, you know, unless the whole thing was just wrapped over it and sealed down, but that's not the case here. So we're trying to get these lines to meet up to look as close to the real thing as possible. So we've got a really nice smooth transition now from the fender around to the front into the hood now work over to the driver's side where if you come sh up short this stuff stretches nice and you'll work it right into the other side just make sure you're down on that hood seam again the grill is going to come up and cover a lot of stuff as well Yet I'm trying to let the wrap lay the way the wrap wants to lay. I'm not forcing it or pushing it, putting a lot of heat to it. That way the wrap has its own memory or mind to where it wants to lay. As long as we can make the transition from point A to point B on these corners, we're looking pretty good. And I think we kind of got this on the first shot, which is really cool. So I worked around this hood. This is a tricky area. You want to try and get the transition from the hood flame into the fender flame. And over here, maybe a little bit more tweaking on this one, just a very little bit, but we're pretty much where we need to be on this transition line. There we go.
right now we're going to go complete out this front end we're going to make the transition now from the front of the grill down into the uh, bumper a lot of weird odd angles in this it's really hard to uh, get a wrap just to lay on top of it again you know a more uh, professional guy that does this stuff every day probably real pretty easy for them but if you haven't done it we tried to hit the easy button on it and uh, we made these decals to lay over the top of it in layers so you don't have all these seams all over the place and wrinkles and so it's going to kind of backfill this in fill it in around the corners Again, we have a lot of stretch in this stuff. If we have a gap, we can just pull the tape a little more, work it around the edge. So instead of introducing a new seam, the seam's kind of kind of made up and overlay into the fender seam, so it helps disappear and eliminate a lot of uh, overlap. Again, if you need a little more stretch, just hit it with the heat gun. I always keep my thumb in there. I don't want to burn myself or the wrap. And again, you can overheat it. And then when you put your finger on it, you can permanently leave your fingerprint in there. So just leave it just warm to the touch. And voila, it pulls the crease right out of it. I'll work around the bumper detail. So from one side.
front bumper detail on. And now we'll take the grill pieces, lay them out on there, and it'll help cover up a lot of these other seams, make them disappear. Pick out the center of the hood. Look at this guy. Grill. Get closer. I'll move on to the tailgate area. Again, we lift a little excess. I trim. Now we're working in the tail light area. And sometimes you need a little bit more relief around these complex curves in here. That's why I left this on this uh, driver side. Now we'll start working this out and then lay out our uh, back panel for the tailgate. So it's all right if you know you're working under another decal like the, the tail lens, you can make some extra relief cuts to help make a smoother turn. We'll see what we can do here. Try not to get it too hot. We're working a little limited time here on the video. But you can kind of get the point. Just take a little extra time and work it all out. Plays a little extra bubbles out. Under the top of the tailgate in here. See a lot of transitions going on from side to tailgate. The tailgate was painted a little bit differently than the sides of the truck. So we're able to take advantage of our taillights and like around the headlights and stuff of areas to where we can hide seams and things.
And all with this is just taking your time. Again, I'm trying to rush this here a little bit for the video, but uh, you, know, you take your time and you work with this stuff and do a good job. Your fingernail or a q-tip you can take the uh, q-tip and kind of work in this detail area get out all the air bubbles that would help out a lot as well sometimes if there's annoying a little air pocket somewhere doesn't want to kind of just take the tip of your hobby knife, pop a little hole, and it'll disappear. Okay, tail lights. I work in from the tailgate side back. Move it around the corner. So, so you got a nice clean transition from your flames, which is just the way Bigfoot had it, right across. All the little crazy transitions and wrinkles and overlaps all disappeared behind the tail light. Okay, passenger side, looking pretty good. Now we can go out and, you know, however you want, we'll just lay these uh, J Concepts Tribute Bigfoot decals along the body here to match the other one that I showed you and uh, continue on. I don't want to bore you with all the details going through laying out all the decal packages on the wrap. You know, we got the wrap laid out. So basically, here's our interpretation of the uh, Tribute Wheels Bigfoot. Again, this is in the traditional spot that you would have seen on the real Bigfoot truck. Of course, Firestone, the Tribute Wheels was back here in the bed. And then uh, here, you know, the sponsor decal Summit, Headman Headers, Odyssey, PPG, um, all laid out. You can basically lay them out basically, basically however the way you want it. It just, uh, it's up to you. And uh, that's what's fun about this hobby is, uh, you know, we give you the baseline with the wrap and then you can lay out the decals however you want it along the body. You know, we have our lights packages here. We have the JCs on the little covers. You can put as many lights as you want. I think they come, you know, like five in a pack. And then uh, on this particular Bigfoot, they ran four lights. So we have the four lights on this one. Um, you know, the J Concepts double-sided tape. We had these cut out. I did this one already just to kind of show you guys. You know, we just lay a, a strip of tape behind here and then two pieces of double-sided tape in these corners. And it just it's self-adhesive self right here on the cab. Very simple. Same here with the visor. You know, there's uh, four spots you get here in the corner, two in the center, and it just tapes on like that. So here's basically the whole layout, you know, again, our interpretation of it. Um, another little detail that's really cool with this uh, body package here is the wheel discs. A lot of you guys have been wanting to do these types of wheels. Um, these are a directional decal. So the arrows, you know, on the right side of the truck and the left side of the truck, they both go in the same rotation. We'll show the, you these here. 
you know, you have a right and left, left side. They come with the uh, wheel discs. And I'll show you just a really quick trick to uh, lay these out here. So they're kind of indexed nicely here so that, you know, they're not all, you know, in a weird rotation where the, the screw head's going to lay. But, uh, you know, basically take one of these guys off. I kind of put it up to a bright light or where you can see through the decal. I don't know if you can catch it on the camera. But basically we're just going to stick the screw head in between the arrows of the turbine and just put the sticker on there. Real easy. And what you would do is you would take our uh, Tribute Wheels planetary cap off and then this is indexed in a manner to where it just bolts right on to where the planetary cap is. So real easy. I just kind of push really hard where the dimples are for the screw heads. Take our J Concepts hobby knife. Just very lightly push through and rotate the blade around the hole. Cut it out. Like so. Pushing the indentation. Rotate the blade around the perimeter of the circle. Cut it out like so. And there you go. Ready to go on. Now this one here, the way the rotation is, will be a driver side. Here we'll show you the passenger side. Looks super cool. This was actually taken off the real uh, Dan Patterson artwork from the uh, original Bigfoot caps. And uh, looks pretty cool. There you go. The Tribute Wheels, J Concepts Bigfoot. All right, and that's a wrap for the J Concepts Tribute Wheels Bigfoot body. Just a few added pointers here. You know, when you're working with this stuff, always take your time. And that's what's nice and relaxing, enjoying about the hobby. It's taking your time, doing it right. Make sure you're in a nice, really clean work area. Again, you're working with wraps and stickers and moving things around. You don't want to pick up uh, dirt in the wrap and transfer it onto the body and create any blemishes. And uh, again, when you're pre-prepping your body, you know, always, you know, wash it correctly before adding any paint. Maybe cut it out and lay it out where your body mounts are going to be. Make all those pre-preparations done first and then paint it. It makes things a whole lot easier when you're in the end product. So uh, again, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Give you a, a few pointers how to uh, put this wrap on and uh, you guys take care.